David, hello, good evening. Good evening, Mark. How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well indeed. And it's nice to be returning to some sort of normality. It certainly. Oh, it definitely is. Being, how's, uh, where, how's the office? We're obviously now open back at the parish office. We are. We've reopened uh, yesterday. Uh, so we were open yesterday and today so far, uh, the rest of the week. it's uh, It's been nice. We've A couple of people, a couple of familiar faces just popped their head in to say, uh, welcome back, hello. Uh, and a couple of people come in uh, on some parish business. Superb. Uh, so yes, um, it's nice to see people out and about. And uh, and yeah, although we've still got to be careful, it's nice to see a bit of freedom back out there. Yeah, 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 completely. Well, um, welcome for those of you that are viewing us live. Obviously, this evening, what's going on tonight? Well, it's just a quick a quick welcome and a quick hello from, from David and myself. Then uh, we're going to introduce you to, uh, to Jay and his boot camp. And we'll have a quick chat with Jay um, and tell you, Jay's going to tell you all about that uh, and how you can join and, and get involved with Jay's boot camp. Then we've got news from around Hound, a couple of things that we're going to tell you. Uh, we've got some COVID news. And then finally, we'll end with a little bit of history of, um, of the parish. So also don't forget, if you want to get in contact with us, how do you do it? Well, all the information is at the bottom of the screen. Um, so please feel free to, you know, like us on, on uh, Facebook and, and Twitter. Uh, click on the like button and subscribe and then obviously you'll ring the bell and it will get notified then if anything anything comes through um, and uh, any any new videos that come up that we decide to, to publish so right let's without further ado I know we've got Jay in our vir virtual green room um, so let's let's bring Jay up hello Jay good evening gentlemen how are we doing all right yes good thank you how are you yeah, very well, thank you. All good. Super duper. So, Jay, you're here for this evening to tell us all about Jay's Boot Camp. Oh, uh, so Jay's Boot Camp, yes. So uh, it runs uh, every Wednesday uh, evening at 6 to 7 and Saturday mornings at 10 to 11. And that's on Victoria Road, uh, Netley Abbey Cricket Field, it takes place. Um, so it's at the other end. Um, yep. So like you're heading towards more to the netly side but you will see me uh located there um i'm everybody... gonna stop you there just one second so yeah, sure. Jace, for those of though that won't know what a boot camp is tell us what a boot camp is um, they're, they're not gonna turn up and clean their boots are they uh no they don't need to clean their boots um i will try my best to sell it um <laughs> it's, um so it involves physical activity um so various pieces of equipment that i have um we do body weight exercises so things that we all know, like press ups, squats, sit ups. Um, some of it is intensive. Some of it can be easy. Um, it's for all capabilities. You know, I want everybody to come along. Rain, sleet, or snow. I know some of my guys don't enjoy the rain, and occasionally yeah. go, "Jay, I'm not going to come today." But I'm, um, I'm always down there. Um, good bunch of people. Uh, it's a nice social thing as well. You know, I'm there to make it enjoyable, make it fun. And feel good after the session that's the most important thing leaving on a high basically so um yeah it's i'm not there to feel as though i'm judging everybody's work ethic it's no. all just do what you can as long as you're moving yeah um and we all know exercise is great for mental health uh you you know for your mind so you feel better in yourself releasing all the good endorphins in your body um and have that feel good factor at the end of every session that i do so yeah come along and give it a try guys yeah i'm i'm not sure i will i've got <laughs> i've got a bone in my leg so it's a bit of a bit of a problem and only yesterday i pulled pulled my finger yesterday so i'm not sure i'll be able to so okay, no <laughs> <laughs> so um jay tell us a bit more about yourself obviously you're a personal trainer you come from um a military background or anything like that uh not military background of such um i've always been active as a young lad uh played football over the years uh cross country done any some form of exercise so i've been a personal trainer over the last 10 years um i just love helping others um just inspiring others and just giving people that um that push in life to feel better in themselves you know i've had many clients over the past few years that i've helped and developed their um you know, if it's from toning up to losing weight, um, just giving any general advice, you know, yeah. personally myself, I'm still learning. There's a lot more to learn, you know, yeah. gathering more knowledge for myself. Um, 
but yeah, it's just the case of helping others just feel better in themselves. Okay, a, now a, a message has come in from um, Simon Gillen there. Is it only for the super fit? No, uh, like I said, it's for all abilities. You know, I'm not there to judge you on your performance, on how hard you work. Um, if there's any particular exercises that I give uh, the participants, I will just regress it. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's very high intense, so there could be like squat jumps involved. If you can't do a squat jump, just do n a normal basic squat, or if not, I'll give another option. So it's for everybody of any ability to come along um, and okay. give it a try, really, yeah. Age range? Age range, it's yeah. over 16 um, to any age. Any, up any, any, any age over the over the age of 16? Over the age of 16, yep. Yeah. Um, Anybody can come along and give it a try. Uh, same again, you know, it's all based on trial and error. I yeah. like to people for people to give it a go. If they don't like it, that that's it really. But if they want to continue coming along, feel free to come along on those days that um, I do run it on a Wednesday and Saturday. Okay. And uh, what's the cost? Lucy, they got a message in from Lucy Ann. What's the cost per session? Uh, it's five pounds per session. Um, I'm in. Uh, in the next coming weeks, I will be doing like a loyalty card, basically. So if you pay for four sessions, you get fifth for free um, and you and there's no time limit on it. And um, so, yeah, it's just like a little bit of incentive, you know, and I want people to come along to enjoy it. So pay for four sessions yep. and get the fifth for free. Yeah. OK, so, yeah, loyalty, loyalty card stroke in an incentive. Incentive could be, you know, give them a donut on the fifth session or something like that. Yeah, exactly. They deserve <laughs> it, yeah. So as long as it's not defeating the object. <laughs> yeah, just everybody, that won't defeat. Everybody loves a donut. The donuts are exactly. good. <laughs> so uh, what safety messages have you got? But, uh, you know, especially what with COVID and stuff like that. I mean, first aid trained and stuff as well. I'm taking it. Uh, yeah, I'm fully qualified first aid trained. So if anything, uh, slip trips or falls in any way, um, which we're hoping everything will be safe. No matter yeah, yeah, what. Completely. Um, so as we know, we've been continuing with this pandemic. Um, keep a two metre distance. Um, all my equipment is uh, wiped before and after my sessions with yeah. um, antibacterial spray. Uh, I do supply uh, wipes as well, as well as um, hand sanitizer. So if anybody ever does need that, um, they can use that. Feel free to use that. So, yeah, it, it is uh, safety measures are put into place at all times with my guys. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And is it always run by yourself or is that you or and another or? Uh, just myself at the moment. Um, I do have my partner who does assist me at times. Um, just to help out and I do have other people that are experienced gym goers um, yeah. gym instructors so just in case you know if I split the guys up in groups but it's just solely at me at the moment but hopefully if the business does grow and I do more sessions in the week I will yeah. um, get somebody on board to help me run the okay. sessions to make it a bit more smooth. And cool and then the sessions that you've got because you mentioned we're doing a, when a Wednesday and a Saturday so do you does if for argument's sake if somebody signs up and says i'm going to come along to boot camp do they have to do both sessions or can they do can they just do one and say it only suits me to do a wednesday or a saturday morning or you know or are you making them do two no it's entirely what everybody wants to do so that's why i give an option on a weekday to come along yeah. uh, or which saturdays is always a little bit busier because people have bet more availability um you know so that's why doing a wednesday session and then the Saturday, it gives you the option. So, yeah, it's not compulsory what day you choose. It's whenever you're available to come along and give it a try. So. Cool. And it looks like, thank you, we've got another message in from Simon. Um, do you set an individual plan for beginners? Um, no, everybody is um, equal in a lot of ways. So it, it's, um, like I said, if anything is a struggle for beginners, um, I can give them some advice, but you will be part of the same group at the same time so everybody is on the same level yeah that makes sense yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> and then we, yeah and then we've got we've obviously got another um another a field up at butlocks so you know let's let's roll this forward a few months and say it's still been really really successful can we look at making this uh, you know bigger and better so can would you think about putting another boot camp up at butlocks for those that wouldn't be able to come down to down on the cricket field 
Oh, definitely. Yes. It's depending on people, how they commute to this place. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, I've had a lot, a lot of other suggestions about guys um, telling me doing it in Western Lane or Mayfield or yeah. Changing Side, uh, which is a, a local field there. So, yeah, anything to help out the guys. Um, and if not, um, <laughs> I can give them a lift if they need a lift to come to the session. You know, I'm, I'm happy to help. And then, and, the session. and then talking of um getting to it i'm assuming there's car parking and stuff like that where you're hold, where you're holding it and so people can turn up in their cars quite there's enough space for car parking and stuff yeah there is so uh just opposite grange road uh yep. there's plenty of parking there to the parish uh abbey hall Hall car park yeah plenty of parking there the other end um not as much because there's only a a couple of spaces available with double yellow lines but yeah but parking there it's just a little bit of a walk which is 50 50 yards away and that's where the boot camp's located on that playing field so there's plenty of parking there yeah okay and then sorry i'm going to bombard barding you with questions look um so do you have to sign if you turn up in your first your first session is there sort of some sort of form that one has to fill out yes it work uh so it's a par q uh which is a physical activity readiness questionnaire it's just basically um just some small personal details name address uh your age uh medical history if they've got any allergies and things like that it's just to say are you fit and ready to go um yep. and i at every session i do i always say to my guys uh has, there, has anybody got any issues any muscular pain joint pain uh or anything like that you know we can discuss it before the session privately but yeah it's just a form just to uh cover all the necessaries you know so then i know uh what do i expect from every individual to make it safe as possible when we proceed with the session Cool. And then other than we've got the information, I think, yeah, posted at the bottom of the screen at the moment, how to contact you. Um, so that's obviously th- the the Facebook, Jay's Bootcamp, or Instagram, Jay, Jay's.Bootcamp. Otherwise, it's just a case of turn up. We've said Wednesdays and Saturdays. What time, Jay? Uh, so Wednesdays, it's uh, 6 till 7 in the okay. evening. And Saturday mornings, 10 to 11. So I've not made it too early for Saturdays because I think people no. have a busy week. Um, and you can either find me on Facebook, uh, yeah. just on the search bar, just type in Jay's Bootcamp and should hopefully find it. And with my Instagram page, which is just jays.bootcamp. And uh, if you do need to book on, um, message me um, and I'll be happy to answer everybody's questions about the bootcamp. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and then I'll just book you onto the list. And then on arrival, um, just pay on arrival. That That's why I was going to you answered pretty much answered one of the, my final questions was if I'm turning up for the first time, do I need to let you know first of all, or can I just turn up and say, hi, I'm new. Um, and I want to, I want to get fit. Uh, How's it work? Yeah, um, what would uh, you prefer? Yeah. I, honestly? Yeah. Just to book on, because it just depends on what my session will involve and what equipment I need to cater yeah. for my guys. I'm just making sure, but, um, at the moment, I'm using less equipment just to be a bit more safer because of yeah. um, because know, of COVID. COVID, of course. Yeah, yeah we, we all know about that. So um, a lot of it, most, <laughs> most of the time it is uh, at the moment a bit of body weight. But I do bring uh, various pieces of equipment at the time. And like I said, it's always uh, clean before and after every session. So, yes, uh, please book on. Um, and I'm happy. And I'm, I'm, my phone is always uh, available. <laughs> it's like I'm yeah. doing like I'm always here if you need me. So, yeah. <laughs> you do um, nothing else with your life. Yeah. You're just waiting for your phone for the new people to to sign up. It looks like we might you might have a new a new customer because Simon's posted another message here that says any plans for more sessions. Uh yeah. At the moment, it's two sessions, but we could do another one in the week. Um, yep. depending on everybody's available. I want to make sure everybody can come along and give it a try. Um, so yeah, possibly maybe a Monday morning. Uh, or Monday evening, uh, good start to the week. You know, you have so a it's really case of watch this space. Watch this space, yeah. Okay, so just check it, it out. Yeah. Um, and for further information, like I said, just go into social media, Facebook or Instagram, with more details. Cool, Jay. Thank you ever so much for your time this evening. Hopefully, you know it's a, it's a case of spreading the word, and we can get some more people coming your way, and we can make us a nice fit parish. Definitely, yeah. Um, 
like I always say to people, beach body ready for 2021, you know. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay, thank you for your time this evening. It's wonderful to see you. Best of luck with the business. Let's hope more and more people come along to the cricket cricket field. And as I said, you know, if, if we can make it grow and you have to put more dates in the diary, even better for you and everybody else in the parish. And if we move to, if you're able to move up to Butlocks and stuff as well, it's superb. So I wish you all the best. And thank you for, for coming along this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Mark. I appreciate no it. No worries. It's, it's nice to see you. All right. Take care. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Superb. So that was Jay's boot camp. Yeah, excellent. Uh, some good stuff. I, I, I've seen some of the um, Jay's posts on Facebook and uh, it does look like he has a good crowd or he had a good crowd pre uh, last lockdown, lockdown three. Uh, he had a good uh, set of number of people that were going down on a Saturday morning. So yeah. hopefully they all come back. He gets some new ones. Uh, the Wednesday evening, which did run for a period at uh, the back end of last summer, continues to be as successful and popular as it was. And uh, as I say, hopefully... Uh, demand um, fingers crossed availability I, and uh, and he can grow it i couldn't convince him with the donut though <laughs> i think that was a great incentive <laughs> i know you said everyone likes a donut i'd prefer a bacon sandwich afterwards personally well yeah yeah bacon sandwich <laughs> no we'll just stick we we'll stick with donuts so um <laughs> so move, moving <laughs> on that's jay's boot camp we you hopefully you know how to get hold of him if you have any problems getting hold of um of jay's boot camp obviously send a message into david and he can obviously forward that on to 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 jay um so dave news around hound um let's go let's talk about um one of the things that's in lots of people minds at the moment it's only just reopened as of yesterday let's talk about the pubs in the village so we've got information yeah. on two of the pubs i believe haven't we 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 have yes um okay. so we, we we tried to contact all three uh the roll call and the prince consort have come back and uh that just provided us with some points uh, and some information on what they're doing uh, although they were open yesterday and of course today um but yeah I, it's do you want to yeah um, no i'm going to give them a read so i'm going to read this so um let's this uh, in no particular order i'm going to start with the prince consort um well, I'm going to skip the first cent paragraph. I wanted to let you know that about a few things happening at the Prince Court Consort uh, for the next five weeks, hopefully from the, the 12th of April, as we know we're now open. Uh, we'll be operating an outside service only. You have to remain seated at your tables, but you can come in to use the toilets. Our staff will be on hand to take your orders and bring all your drinks and meals. We will open at 11 a.m. for drinkers and midday for dining. Uh, meals will be available throughout the day for the first five weeks. The kitchen will be closing a little earlier than usual, but fear not, the bar will stay open till 11 p.m. or when the rain stops play. We will be taking card or and cash. Snow. It was uh, well, been like the last few days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, completely. Um, we ha uh, we will be taking the cards and cash. Uh, we have invested in some fantastic outdoor heaters for the evenings on the decked area, and we also have some tables under cover at the top of the car park. We will be taking bookings for both drinkers and those who wish to dine with us, and we will operate a two-hour slot system for busy periods. We can seat 90-odd in total, but that's our capacity for the time being. Fingers crossed for a spell of dry weather so you can come enjoy being back at the pub. See you all soon. And that's from Pepe and Karen. And that's at the Prince Consort. And then uh, we have the other uh, info from Roz at the Roll Call. So again, open as the 12th. We've around uh, 12th of April, but we've got around 25 outdoor tables and spaced out and undercover for so of some kind. The majority will have parasols and there are a handful that will be undercover of a small marquee or pagoda. We only have um, overhead cover, though, as cannot enclose the marquee. Unfortunately, we are unable to provide outdoor heating, but do have a supply of blankets that customers can use if it gets too chilly. Groups of up to six people from multiple households will be welcome. We will be providing table service and await the official government go ahead and guidance on the 5th of it. We'll skip all that bit. We don't need that. Uh, we'll be opening at 12 um, the Monday. We're the opening on the 12th. But following that, our opening hours, here we go. This is the bit we want. Opening hours, Monday to Wednesday is 3 o'clock to 9 p.m. Thursday to Saturday is 12 to 10 p.m. And Sunday, 12 to 8 Please note that these hours may be weather dependent. 
Um, what else we've got here? Our kitchen will reopen on Thursday, the 22nd of April, with expected hours to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 12 to 7.30, and Sunday, 12 to 4 p.m. Thursday through to Saturday, we will be offering a reduced menu, and on Sundays, our normal Sunday roasts. Food will be available for takeaway during those uh, during these hours also. Once we are able to open inside in May, we will return to our full menu. Um, I'll put any further updates, or they will put any further updates on their Facebook page and the website. And that's all the information we've got in. So all good. Yeah. Good, good stuff. It's it's great to see um, the pubs reopening. It's great to see the hairdressers reopening and uh, yep. the lines <laughs> yesterday and today outside of hairdressers. And uh, certainly, we were joking with um, with Jay before just before going live. Jay's got his hair appointment booked for Thursday morning and uh, said he was looking forward to getting in there. Uh, just just slightly. Uh, well, on topic still of Jay, just picking yep. up a message from James saying that he did his first session last week and he would highly recommend it. Um, there you go. Thank you, James. Always, always good to, look, uh, good to hear. Yeah, definitely. Good good getting recommendations coming in. So, so thank you. Thank you for that. So, oh, hello. Stay in the, the, right. So let's move on to other news happening. We've already mentioned the office is now reopened, which is amazing news for the parish. So if you have any questions, comments or anything like that, you need to go down to the office, see David, Angie and Bridget in the office. Please, please do so. Obviously, wear a mask and stuff when you go in, respect the social distancing, blah, blah, blah. Um, everyone's nicely tucked behind screens and stuff anyway. Um, but David and Angie and Bridget will be able to help you if um, if you need to. Otherwise, obviously, send them an email or Facebook. Facebook or and or Twitter still and live chat on the website yeah definitely live chat as well so other things coming up I noticed we put on uh, the on the Facebook page we've got hound in bloom coming up David we have um, the nice thing with that as well is we've got a lot uh, a, a pretty much a, a carrier bag full of uh, seeds free seeds yep. uh, so anyone who is looking to take part in hound and bloom 2021 uh, you want some seeds to, to help you get going in your garden or you just want some seeds. We have what feels like about 200 packets of seeds in the office. Uh, please pop in. Please help yourself. Uh, more than uh, they're there to go. Um, they, they need to go. Uh, seeds are far better in the uh, in the ground. Uh, growing into flowers that will uh, help the bees to pollinate. And, so there's uh, no excuse, basically. Get yourselves down to the parish office and ask for some seeds, and then you can why, enter. Why you're bloom. there, also, you, you'll yep. see that I've just shared uh, our parish news web page. Yep. Um, I'm just going to scroll down slightly. Speed stickers. Uh, so these are also available. Um, they're stickers that you can put on your wheelie bins. So the days that your wheelie bins go out, uh, 20 is plenty, uh, and 30 mile an hour. Uh, a few have picked these up in the last couple of days. Well, yesterday and today. Uh, but they are available uh, also uh, while you pick up seeds, pick up a speed sticker. Now, uh, a word, a word in the, our office. <laughs> the stickers, the stickers are amazing. Stick them on the side of your wheelie bins. There is a word of warning that comes with these stickers, yeah. though. Think about the way you position your bin, because I've actually stuck mine on the wrong side. So it happens when everyone drives out, but somebody will see them. Um, if you know, you know, it's good if you're on Station Road because you see it every way. But if you're in a cul-de-sac, it's not so good if people coming down the road and the stickers don't see them till they go out. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never yeah, mind. But, uh, uh, on, uh, we've got a sunflower competition as well, David. Coming I was going to say in the on, the, on the sunflower. I'm currently working with someone trying who. Uh, it's looking. It's 50-50 at the moment. I'm I'm being more optimistic than that, and hopefully going more 90-10 that they're going to provide a whole load of sunflower seeds. Uh, so again, we'll have some free sunflower seeds for uh, this one's primarily for the children. However, it's open to any age group and anyone to grow. But I always think children have a lot of fun uh, growing sunflowers, and uh, they're relatively straightforward to grow um but hopefully we'll have some free seeds and we we should know that in the next couple of weeks so um hopefully there'll also be free sunflower seeds to give away from the office as well and and if we have enough we'll get some up to the school and uh, and ask the school whether they can uh, give us a, at least a seed to every child to grow as well uh, so yep hound in bloom and sunflower uh, competitions are both back for this summer 
Okay, cool. Um, and message I've just seen come in from James Butler again. Need more enforcement on speed, though sadly not just reminders. Yes, we do completely agree, James. It's something we've already spoken to the police with, and it's also something we've engaged with Eastleigh Borough Council with as well. So um, on that one, if we know any more, if anything happens, we'll obviously let you know on that. Um, let's we've obviously, let's talk about the one that you've got up on screen at the moment. I was going to say, for, so Friday night football. Uh, so this was around pre-pandemic. Uh, it had just started up at Hamble Sports Centre uh, or Sports Complex. Um, I think it started at the back end of last summer, uh, so it ran for a little bit up there, but it's in three locations. Um, so 7pm to 9pm on a Friday evening is for 10 to 19 year olds. Uh, it's Hamble. Uh, it places, places leisure in Eastley. is 6.30 to 8.30 and again it's the same age range of 10 to 19. And then Botley Recreation Ground have three times. Six till seven is 10 to 13 year old, seven till eight, 14 to 15, and eight till nine, 16 to 19 year olds. Uh, it's, you come into our news page, uh, you can click there. Uh, there's more information. It's one pound per session and there's no need to book. Uh, you can simply pay as you turn up. Cool. Uh, they generally consist of five aside matches led by qualified coaches. Um, and it's been, it certainly was talking to um, Ross, our local area manager from Eastley. This was incredibly popular yep. uh, pre COVID. Um, Do me if, can, David, can you just scroll down this page slightly? Yeah. The other way. Oh, up. Yeah, right. Do keep going down. Down, 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 down. That's up. Go to the bottom of the page, near the bottom where it tells you the age range. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, yeah. Okay, stop. Right, so there's something I want to mention here. It's got in partnership with various companies. I'm going to relate this back to Hound in Bloom very quickly. Um, if we've got companies in the parish that want to sponsor, because there are comp it's a competition, uh, people can win prizes. Um, those prizes can be donated by companies if they want to. And if it's something that, you know, somebody might be watching and they might want to sponsor a, a category, then again, get get in touch with David um, uh, through the, the parish office and David can then talk to you about sponsoring one of the categories um, of which we would be very interested in those emails and those calls. So, so we've got um, one, one company uh, are sponsoring one of the categories in Hound in, Hound in Bloom. Uh, there's still cool. two further categories in Hound in Bloom and yep. the two categories for the tallest sunflower uh, and the biggest head. So measuring from one side to the other side. Um, Okie dokie. But yeah, there's, there's opportunities Way available. <laughs> yep. Basically, if you can grow a sunflower, you win in my book. Right. So um, Station Road, David, David, there is some very good, exciting news coming about Station Road play area, the redevelopment of. Tell us all, David. Yep. So uh, we, we've mentioned this a couple of times uh, within council meeting and the last um, last uh, one of these that we did. Uh, we're going to be re renewing the play area up on Station Road. Uh, we're about to put out um, something on our news uh, news page across our social media, just asking for ideas of what uh, the local children would like to see within there. Um, as we've mentioned previously, there's been some uh, suggestions to us about potentially putting a skate park up there. Uh, potentially a tennis court or courts up there, uh, putting something different up onto this, uh, the recreation ground as well. So we're going to put something out. We're going to invite everyone's ideas. Uh, we can then collate those ideas uh, and have a look at what the next steps will be for anything outside of the play area. The ideas uh, that we get in for the play area, we'll put into the tender document, which we will then uh, advertise out to the play area companies to come back with their ideas. Uh, the plan is to follow what we did um, what, in 2019 up at Woodlocks yeah. for the play area there. We will shortlist it down to the final three, uh, and then we will put it back out to the public vote. Uh, we'll invite each of those three companies down for an open public session uh, where anyone can come in and talk to them to listen to their ideas, to potentially suggest something different, uh, to see whether they can, uh, they can safely put that in. Uh, and then public vote, uh, whichever um, gets the most votes, will win. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. It's, it's... I mean, it's great news. Basically, we've, we've got some money. We're going to splash it on the Station Road um, playground. 
um, anything that the council does is going to be in cooperation with and in partnership really is probably the best word with the parish um, as we did before we put it out to the parish and said what do you want um, the parish was able to come in and talk to the companies those companies then said yep cool this is the things that we can do they put their schemes together and then from that we got we ended up with what we got at Butlocks, which has been very well received. And every time I go down to Butlocks play uh, rec, it's always really busy, really, really popular. So we're going to do something new in Station Road. Superb. And, and, and very the, much the, looking forward to it. The, the other thing, um, we, we, we're going to get um, a decent lump of money from developers' contributions from Eastleigh Borough Council. So this is uh, money that... Uh, house builders um, put into a pot for certain certain things. So the new developments that have sprung up uh, both within Hound, although these are primarily up on Hamble Lane, uh, that this money is coming from. So we, we've got the opportunity to go with more equipment in a larger space than what we had down in Butlocks because of the space available uh, on Station Road. Uh, and also the opportunity, if we want to, to replace the gym equipment, which uh, I think is is well used. And whenever I uh, go up onto the wreck, there's normally somebody on that gym equipment. So uh, well, it's let's, be yeah. part of the new um, the new Completely. play area if people want it. Uh, if yeah, they don't, that's obviously, the thing. Let, more money for parish, other play, play equipment. Yeah, let's let, let, let's let the parish tell us what they want. Yeah, will be will be the way forward on that one. So that's yeah. great news. That's coming forward in the next in the next few months. Let's say we haven't given it an, an exact time scale, but watch this space. We'll tell you more information as and when. Keep an eye on Facebook, and um, we can go from there. We know the schools are going to get involved as well. Well, the schools don't know it yet, but hopefully we're going to get the schools. <laughs> we're hopefully going to get the schools involved and 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 champion. The, the playground, the new playground with the, with the school kids, uh, the infants and the junior school and see what ideas they can come up with as well and see how creative all the kids can be. So um, all good, really positive things coming out, coming out of that. Mm. Um, now something obviously not so po positive is obviously let's talk about COVID. Um, anything happening in and around the village, obviously with COVID, David, it's just really a case of still remember we are in a state of COVID. Um, it's a matter of staying safe. Um, and uh, obviously, I think can... that's yeah. That that is the important thing. You know, it, it's brilliant uh, that you know uh, some restrictions were lifted yesterday. Um, yeah. And you know, numbers continue to to trend down. Uh, deaths uh, are down. Hospitalizations are down, uh, and are staying at uh, compared to what they were a couple of months ago, uh, a nice low level. But it's it's really important in my mind that actually we're probably more vigilant and follow guidelines uh, and the guidance now so that we can probably come out of this uh, for the summer. Um, the vaccination program is, I think, <laughs> unbelievably good. Uh, you know, the amount of people with first doses, uh, now the amount of people who've had a second dose, uh, it is awesome. Uh, but let's it, well, let, let's make sure we, we keep our... We uh, we keep our fingers crossed as we can and everybody keeps common sense and it's like as much as we all want to have a cuddle just remember you can't yeah. so let's, let's keep that's you know all we can do is our little bit and if we can keep our area as safe as we possibly can fantastic hopefully uh, everyone else is doing the same and yeah as I say, come the 21st of june um hopefully all those restrictions uh, will lift gone, and we go, uh, and go back to back some to sort of life life as normal Mm. as we hopefully can just about still remember yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems a long a long distant time ago so um i think that's we pretty much said everything that we were going to say this evening apart from obviously the the other important stuff i'm going to trawl through the news from a hundred years ago so let's <laughs> let's see now what <laughs> we obviously last time we did this i'm going to start with the uh the thing that for some reason somebody seems to think that i might have a bit of a penchant for and in fact we had we mentioned last time um that there was a corset advert that went out on the 4th or 3rd 1921 and for some unknown reason um, i'm going to mention it we've had another corset advert come in um which was now for um it doesn't actually give a date i think it was somewhere around 1921 1922 um and this is for for harness electric corsets so um, I'm going to say no more on it and let your imaginations run wild on, on that one. Let's have a look for another one in for 
April. I found them and I've suddenly disappeared off the screen because there was one for, bear with me, there's quite a few. We've got 18 pages. You don't have to no. do that many, though. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. I'm not going to. I'm just going to. I just want to find one. There's one. 15th to the 4th. Um, we've got we've got our day our day fund to the editor of Hampshire Advertiser. Dear sir, will you please allow me to make an appeal through the medium of your paper for gifts of vegetables, fruit and flowers and other garden produce to be sold at the Surgical Aid Society's uh, premises 12 above bar kindly lent for this purpose on Friday the 15th of April on behalf of our day fund. Any such gifts would be heartily welcome, and I would ask those who kindly assist in their donations of delivered to Miss Farmer at 12 above bar on Thursday, the 14th of April, or on the morning of Friday, the 15th, before 10 o'clock. Yours faithfully, Emma Crichton. Uh, this, she was the Vice President of Netley Castle, Southampton. Now, I warn you, please don't go to uh, number 12 above bar on uh, Thursday the 14th, um, which actually won't be, it'll be Thursday the 15th or the morning of the 15th because this was in 1921. Um, so in other news, on the 15th of the 4th, 1921, uh, the Netley Abbey Girl Guides held a rally at Netley Castle, about 40 girls being present, a concert very kindly arranged by, I'm a apologize i can't read it colonel somebody was given in the afternoon lady emma Crichton and many friends were present the guys uh, were then entertained to tea followed by games in the grounds until seven o'clock three cheers were given to her for ladyship all having spent most an enjoyable afternoon I'm not going to read any more. There's more and more and more. I'm going to only bore you with those three this evening. <laughs> I do like my history. <laughs> um, David, uh, we've just had a message come in here from an Al Crabtree. Can we have some playground equipment for children with disabilities? Definitely. We will make sure that any playground equipment is all inclusive um, so that nobody is feel, feel in the position that they're left out at all. So, yeah, it will be part of the prerequisites anyway. That I can guarantee. Um, other than that, David, thank you very much for, for, for the for your time this evening anybody that sent us a message in thank you for your messages this evening um thank you for jay and his boot camp um hopefully you'll go along you never know you might get a donut out of it if you're lucky um i'm gonna keep plugging donuts um <laughs> And uh, apart from that, David, uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for opening the parish office again and for all of your hard work and, and everybody in the office. Um, all, apart from that, it's going to be a good night from, good night from David. Good night. And, and a, a good, good night, night from, from me. You.